Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. Well, we got some pork chops on sale. These are the thin cut pork chops. And so it was battling to get one free. So it worked out to be about uh, $270 for four. And I'm going to call them medallions. So that's what we're, we're calling them. What I did was cut the bone off and all the fat around the edge. And that's in a little pot boiling for the dogs. And what I'll do, they'll have it tomorrow with their breakfast. I'll just dip off all the fat and take the bones out. So they'll have some lean meat. All right, so first thing we want to do, show you the Vitamix over there. I've got my dry beaker on here. And what I'm going to do is use about half a pack of the stovetop uh, dressing uh, and the pork and of course you could use chicken also so I'm just going to use about half that pack and I'm going to grind this up and we save this one for next time alright so here we go larger pieces in there, but it almost is ground up to flour. So I'm going to dump that in my little bowl because we're going to dredge the uh, little pieces of pork in there. And of course it's already got the great spices in it. So, alright, let me get this out of the way. I need another little container of flour. And I'm going to have to move y'all, I think. And then we've got some egg, and I'm going to put, this is just one egg, I'm going to put a little milk in it. Just a little bit of milk, maybe, I don't know, a third of a cup maybe. Just beat that up a little bit. I think I'm going to put just a little bit of salt in the milk mixture, not much. Heat that up now. It's, um, I want to get my skillet hot, so let me turn this down so you can see. So I want to get my. Well, I don't know how to get this all on camera. There are the mushrooms. We're gonna have some of those at lunch too. Or actually, it's gonna be supper. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my burner on high to get it going good. And I think instead of olive oil, I'm gonna use a little of the. Smart Balance Oil. Just need a little bit there in the skillet. I'll leave that out in case I need more. So I'm going to finish beating that egg. A little egg and milk mixture. Alright, I'm going to let this skillet get hot. It's going to take a minute or so, so we'll be right back. Okay, I've got my skillet pretty well heated up, so we're ready to get started. So I'm going to take the pork and first dip it in the flour. I like to just kind of mash it in there. Then dip it in the milk and egg mixture. Then in the little crumbs. I'm just going to set that aside and put two of them in at one time. All right. First in the flour. This is just all-purpose flour. And these aren't going to have to cook for very long because they're, they're thin. Maybe, I don't know, a little over a quarter of an inch. All right, so into the egg mixture. And into the crumb mixture. So the, the uh, crumbs have been ground up, but there's still some little larger pieces in there. And you can certainly grind them up in, the, in a blender just as easily, probably. All right, so let's go on with the next one. So into the flour. Then 
into the egg mixture and then into the crumbs. Yeah, so if you were making a bunch of these, of course you could use a whole pack of the stuffing. But it's really just the two of us. So we're going to end up, after I cut the fat off and everything, I would say we probably, if we eat two of them each, we're going to have about probably four ounces, maybe five, of meat. We try to not have, you know, we try to cut our meat back a lot. We're going to have a lot of vegetables in the salad I'm going to fix to go with this, so we should be all right. All right, now to the crumb mixture. And you want your skillet you know, fairly hot in order to brown these and they, they will cook in pretty pretty fast order. Alright, we are ready to fry these up. I've got my burner on medium, I'm going to turn it down just a touch. Here we go. Make sure they're good and coated. Yeah, these smell good already. I love the stuffing mix to be able to use it like this. You know, that way you, they've got all of the spices and everything already in there, even the salt. Cooking and we'll clean up a little bit and when these get brown on one side I'll be turning them over and we'll be back. Alright, our little pork medallions are done. It only took them probably about six minutes to cook. So I'm going to take them out, see how pretty they browned, and just let some of the grease soak up on a little paper towel. They smell really, really good. Mm, super good. All right, so I'm going to fix the salad. I've kind of got things out over here. And when we get it all plated up, I'll be back. Okay, I've got our plates all uh, filled up now. I've got salad. Now, the salad is made with arugula and baby spinach. This is chopped up tomatoes because I got those at the farmer's market. Really super cheap. And this is uh, butternut squash, and it's cold. That's left over from a couple of days ago when I made the casserole. And I just wrapped it up and put it in the refrigerator, and now it's cold because that'll give a little sweetness. And, of course, the uh, cucumbers. Here are the two uh, pork medallions and three of those stuffed mushrooms. Now, I want to just tell you real quick about, sorry, the salad dressing. So what I'm using is a combination Oh, I know, you're going to say, what? Mint flakes, that's dried mint flakes, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, some salt, and a little honey to sweeten it. Not very much, just a little bit. So I'm going to just drizzle that over the salad now, only a little bit. Won't be much, but it's really good. Just drizzle it over. And for this one, this one's mine. Mr. Bucky's finding us a movie I'm going to watch. And we're going to eat in front of the TV tonight. That's usually where we mostly eat. And he's already fixed the tea, and that's already in the den. All right. So we're ready to eat. There's both plates. There's one, and there's one. All right, let me see if I can give you a better look. Hold on. Can't get my camera off. There we go. Come off there. All right, so there it is. Pork medallions, 
stuffed mushrooms, which I fixed earlier, and I did a video on those. And then here's the arugula and spinach, uh, baby spinach salad that is organic, the tomatoes, the butternut squash, which are cold, and cucumber. There's my plate. Okay, I am really hungry tonight. And we're probably going to have a piece of the chocolate pie for dessert. All right, we'll see y'all next time.